Have you been diagnosed with patellofemoral syndrome or jumper's knee by your physio or doctor? I want to explain to you how I describe knee pain to my clients. In the medical world, we often feel like we don't understand something unless we put a clean label on the problem. But what this does is that when we label someone or diagnose someone, what we're doing is we're having them identify or internalize this diagnosis as if there's something wrong with them and that they're going to have this problem for the rest of their life. Words like plantar fasciitis, tendinitis, bursitis, any type of syndrome. These are all very scary sounding words and people feel like this is who they are now. So when I'm describing someone who's having knee pain, what I'll do is I'll draw out a foot, a knee, a bum, and a back from the, the side profile. Now the idea is that when we're walking and using our bodies in real life, we want 20% done by the foot, calf, hamstring, quad, and bum. Everything is doing their fair share, like Goldilocks. So in the second image, I'm gonna relate it back to the client in front of me who's experiencing knee pain, for example. So what I'm gonna to explain to a client is, remember that test that I asked you to push down to my hand and you didn't really feel like you could hold me very strongly compared to the other side? They're like, yes. Well, so we'll just say that, for example, that the foot maybe is not doing as good a job as possible. Maybe 5%, the calf, the hamstring, they should all be working well together, but they're not in that case. Another example could be that they were on their side and they couldn't hold me up strong. Strongly. So maybe their butt is not doing as much, so another 5%. But your body is smart and needs to complete the task, so what's now happening is that 80% of the work, potentially, is being done by the quad and the knee. And so the pain that you're experiencing is just a call for help, asking your body to distribute the workload throughout the entire body and not just this front area. 